Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for the post office to open so I can drop off um, the giveaway winners, their prizes. Um, so I'll do that right after this video. I uh, got real busy over the weekend. I wanted to do it, uh, get everything done yesterday, but I got physical therapy on Mondays. I don't know if I told you guys they won't do my neck surgery until I do three months of physical therapy. And trust me, when they start twisting on your neck, apparently they know what they're doing. But I was starting to get kind of irritated with the... Uh, um, the manner in which they were doing it. But anyway, it feels all right today. It's a little stiff. Um, yesterday, it was ice packs and uh, heating pads. But anyway, everything's going good here. Hope everything's going good with you guys. Uh, we need to keep some prayers out. I still got a couple buddies that are um, ill and going through some tough times. So let's all get the prayers. And if you don't pray, I know you all got some spirituality in your soul that you can um, kind of shoot that out as a laser beam of health. So, okay, anyway, two for Tuesday. What I'm going to do is I got a couple Barlows again. Uh, one granddaddy. And one regular, uh, you know, normal size Barlow. And that would be this one here, which was made by Camillus, I believe. And this one here was made by GEC. So we'll take a look at the graphics on these boxes. And this has an actual sterling silver bullet on it. Made in the USA, trademark, yeah, right there, Silver Bullet, Cowboy, the face-off. <laughs> Although, I think the bear's going to win, man. You can't, you can't take on a bear with the Granddaddy Barlow, can you? Sure, why not? And nothing on the bottom, so we'll take a look at that, but really sweet graphics. I really like that, but Remington did all these old uh, kind of Norman Rockwell type illustrations. And the proof of that is here's another good one. There's a little kid sitting with Grandpa. Uh, what are they doing, sharpening up a blade here? Oh, no, they're painting um, decoys, duck decoys. Sweet. They're on a couple Remington crates. Dude's filled with ammo there. Looks like he's got a pump here. Shotgun. Bird hunting gun. Uh, we pass our time-honored practice and prized possessions from generation to generation. These are our traditions, and they hold us together. Uh, Remington. Traditions Barlow series. Traditions Barlow series. So let's take a look at that one first. And I believe this was made by Camillus. Here's the box, and then you get your um, paperwork with it. The reason why I think it's Camillus is once we pull it out, is I have <clears throat> this Buck Barlow. Let's clean this up a little bit. I know I have a nice clean towel now. This Buck Barlow is um, definitely made by Camillus. And if you look, it looks pretty much the same pattern however this one does have an extra pin but the reason why I'm saying that is I think uh, Camillus had the Remington name for a while before Baron's son 
And this doesn't look like Baron's son at all. But if you look at the badges, they're very similar. And this one has the old buck um, with the knife and the hammer and the bolt. We kind of um, doing a little baton work there with a hammer. But that was just to show how um, strong buck knives were. And this one here just says Remington. <clears throat> but it's a saw cut uh, Delrin. So let's take a look at that. Put the buck off to the side. First you got a pen blade. Well here, let's take a look, see if the pen blades pen blades look alike. Very similar. Nail nicks different. So if this is Camillus, I know this was 1997. Um, if this was Camillus, I imagine it's the same time period. Late 90s. Made in the USA, Remington. And this looks to have kind of a stonewash blade to it. Nothing on the back. Let's see what the uh, buck clip looks like. Yeah, <clears throat> it's definitely Camillus. Stonewash, just a regular uh, brush grind, flat grind. Exact same pull right there, you guys. Buck Remington. So that's a pretty cool knife. Let's see if there's anything printed on the tang, tang here of the pen blade. Maybe a part number. Ain't seeing nothing. So there you go, Remington, late 90s, Delrin, Sawcut Delrin, uh, Collector Barlow. Put that back there. And put it up there where you can see it. Now the GEC, take a look at that artwork again uh, Remington Wow it looks like uh, my rifle which would be this would probably be the model 8 Woodmaster mine's the model 81 which was built in the 40s this here looks definitely like the model 8 and that definitely would take this big boy down. The granddaddy Barlow, not so much. You might want to use that after you put him down. Maybe if you want to finish him off with your Barlow, that would work. So there's a picture of them both in their boxes. And this here is a saw cut brown bone. Looking sweet, sterling silver bullet. And this is on the GEC 97 pattern, which means it's not going to take a lot to pull it out. Oh, this one's got more pull than the 97s, or a stronger pull. So let's clean that up a little bit. So it gets all nice and shiny. I did a uh, short video, a few of them last night. If you guys want to check them out. Remington trademark. 
Hope I didn't just scratch it all up. Because this one won't be a user, that's for sure. I was going to pass on this. And then um, I got a chance to get it at dealer cost. So I figured I would. Because I've seen them on eBay. Everyone's asking at least 300 for them. Which is kind of ridiculous, but you know, if someone buys it for 300, it's not the seller's fault. So here we go. Let's make sure that scratch is gone. So I don't know what it'll bring on down the line, but I'll enjoy it till then. Most likely, I'll take it to my grave, and it will go up in a charity sale. <coughs> which you guys will be able to buy at discount prices. Um, what do we got there? R9511. R9511-2022. Man, I just do a terrible job of cleaning. Hang on. Kind of frustrating here. You had it all nice and clean for the short video. Let's try again. Yeah, it's a little better. Beautiful bone on this one. <clears throat> Perfect color. I like this little spotting where it's hafted here. Again, just perfect workmanship. Not a gap to be seen. Let's see. It's hard to center granddaddy blade. Let's see what we got. Well, they nailed this one. Definitely nailed that one. I like this threaded bolster here. Okay. So that's it. I got to go drop off some packages playing Santa Claus today. So <clears throat> for you guys at One Knives... Um, I will be giving you the tracking numbers shortly, and hopefully you'll have them before the weekend. So until next, my, next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.